at 3, it's 314 in the afternoon, and folks, Rosh Hashanah is a little over a week away. We want to make sure that you are prepared, especially in the food department. Chef Shai Farzian from Yafo Kitchen is here to share a few holiday menu items you'll want to try. Welcome back, Chef. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks Listen, for we were, having me. Of course. We were just talking. To, you always give us such great tips. We were talking in the commercial breaks because we got some sweet potatoes here that we'll talk about in a moment. But there's a couple of tricks uh, that you're going to show me in a moment. Before we get into that, uh, tell me a little bit about um, what meals Yafo Kitchen is preparing for the holiday. So we're doing, we started doing COVID 2020, and we have been doing um, meals for Rosh Hashanah, Jewish New Year's, and Passover mm -hmm. uh, every year. And it's a very traditional meal. Obviously, we can't recreate something that some, their parents made at home, yeah. but we can make it easier. Right. And what's cool about Rosh Hashanah, it's a lot of sweet. We want to eat sweet things, mm -hmm. a lot of honey, because it's the beginning of the year pomegranate but also it's seasonal it's always the same time of the year so right. we have sweet potatoes we have like warm spices couscous um, and then we have uh, honey harissa chicken that we're doing so a lot of things that are kind of like my twist my sure. background uh, my father was born in Iran so uh, it's more of uh, not necessarily Eastern European Jewish but more of like Middle Eastern food. sure uh, which was what I grew up eating. So kind of those flares, plus sweet potatoes, huge in North Carolina. Huge, and, and huge in my yeah. household, by the way. <laughs> my kids love sweet potatoes. Before we get into this, you, you had me at the honey chicken. Yeah. Tell me one more time what this is. So this is part of our meal. So the meal has, you get a challah, you get the, the, the soup, the, the matzo balls, and then we have one and a half chickens, which we uh, marinate and then glaze with a mixture of honey and harissa. Oh. So it's sweet and spicy and just delicious. And then it comes with three sides. One of them is the couscous. Oh, I love uh, it's couscous. couscous with like cranberries and fall spices. Oh, wow. uh, the other one is the sweet potato. And right. the third one is a broccoli salad okay. with uh, date molasses dressing. Oh, delicious. So, yeah. All right, let's get into the sweet cool. potato. Uh, so so, first of all, these are way smaller than the sweet potatoes I see. Uh, what, kind of, what kind of sweet potatoes are these? So these are fingerling sweet potatoes. Fingerling. And, okay. which is most, and you can buy regular sweet potatoes as long as you pick the ones that are um, thin, that are narrow. That's the trick. Uh, yes, because when we cook them, we want the same amount of time that it takes to caramelize them uh, for them to cook all the way in. So we're going to put a lot of olive oil. Oh. Right. Because basically, yeah, what we're doing, and then salt and pepper, and what we're doing is we are frying the bottom of them. So okay. you get like a fried uh, caramelized flavor on like the bottom. Because sometimes I, I'm in a hurry and my kids got to eat, and, uh, and it takes too long. So this takes 30 minutes. Really? That's so not bad at yeah, all. 30 minutes in the oven. Uh, we set the oven for a high temperature of 300 degrees, and then look at what I'm doing. I make sure they are soaked and the, they're all covered in the olive oil. Why are you flipping them? Why, what does that do? So what's gonna happen is the more surface you have, all the sugars are inside. Okay. Sweet potato is sweet, right? Mm -hmm. Sweet potato. So, uh, and all the sugars are gonna start cooking, touch the oil, d get fried, right, by the right, way, and right. turn it into caramel. Oh. And then the more surface you have, the more this is gonna brown and be sweet. So these are caramelized sweet potatoes, but we don't have to add anything. Uh, salt, pepper, oil. And then make well, sure they're the on the outside. Uh, it just gives it a little floral a essence. Little floral essence. Yeah, now it's important though that with the time, it doesn't go underneath the potatoes because we don't want to uh, block okay. it. The more you can touch the pan, the better. The better, okay. So we're going to put it in the oven. For how long and how, what temperature? 400 degrees with convection. Okay. And then degrees. we have some TV magic here. Look at that. Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, and what you can <laughs> see, Look and this is, where, this is where it all happens. So. This is hot, but I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah, why not? Uh, there you go. I'm going to grab a fork, too, because... This is, as, as my daughter says, I have special chef hands. Yes, you do, so, because I'd be crying. And you can see how yeah, it is caramelized, caramelized right on the outside. Yes, so yeah. there you go. There you go. There it is. So, uh, yeah. And be, the reason to use the small sweet potatoes, because mm -hmm. if you use the, ba the big ones, they're going to brown on the outside, sure. but they're not going to be cooked all the way. No, and so then because they're small, do you get you get a good ratio? You can eat it with the skin. It's oh, like with a, the skin yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, come on yeah. in. Get a few of them. You know, I yeah. actually I had uh, roasted potatoes at home yesterday, oh, and like wow. the potato skins for me is the best the yeah, best part. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. oh, we have one more thing on it. Oh Sorry. yes, Last we have one. some uh, spicy honey. So this oh, is oh. honey. Chef, you can't forget the honey. Come on now. Honey with, with Aleppo pepper. <laughs> I love so, it. Yeah. Sorry. Perfect. I'm going to take a yeah. bite while I put your information up on the screen mm -hmm. so people know uh, where to get Yafo Kitchen's information. Facebook, Instagram. Mm. 
And then Stop. you can order until Sunday, and the oh. pickup is Wednesday. And you don't have to celebrate Jewish New Year's. You could just have a really good meal. And listen, I might be ordering <laughs> this tonight. This was delicious. Chef, thank you so much for stopping Thanks by again. Always great to see you. Uh, folks, I'll tell you what. This is great here from Yafo Kitchen.